you're an out-of-state investor. Where you live, it's expensive. So you're going out of state, you're trying to find rentals. You're doing all your Google searches, like, hey, where's the best cash flow markets? Where's the best place for cash flow? Things of that nature, right? So inevitably, you're going to come across Cleveland. You're going to come across Detroit. You're going to come across Indianapolis, right? These are the places you're going to come across. Well, before you do one of these out-of-state deals that is dirt cheap, you better bring it to an expert. And that's what I'm doing today for one of my out-of-state clients on a dirt cheap duplex. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here for you. Today's show is for my man, Leo. And he is doing a deal here in Cleveland. Now, the address is 1333 East 82nd. Now, it's a $60,000 duplex, okay? And you're like, hey, man, before I do this deal, JYs, I need to know, dude, is this going to be a good deal for me? It looks pretty good. Price, 60 k right? As far as the inside, it looks pretty nice, okay? What do we got going on here? It's not like the greatest thing in the world. As you can see, we're missing a drawer. But other than that, I mean... If you're looking at, like, low-income rentals, folks, like, this is pretty good. As far as the bones go, they're looking good, right? This hot water tank looks to be, like, brand spanking new. That's, like, 1000 1200 1400 depending on where we're at with COVID uh, inflation these days, right? You get two of those, and they last about 15 years. So it's good to see that's brand new. Your furnaces, those are brand spanking new. Got two of those. Those are about... Uh, three grand to do, and those last about 30 years, right? So your big ticket items are taken care of here, right? Nice to see all this good stuff, okay? Looks like we got updated electrical. So for all intents and purposes, it looks pretty good. Let's see what the listing agent had to say. This fully occupied duplex offers incredible value for any investment portfolio. The huge property offers nearly 3,000 square feet of living space. The down tenant pays 450 a month, and the up tenant pays five and a quarter. Each unit has two beds and one bath. There is a large covered front porch and full basement as well as off-street parking. <clears throat> the property is located within walking distance of shopping, restaurants, public transit, schools, and more. Plus, just a short drive to highways downtown, University Circle, Cleveland Clinics, and University Hospital's main campuses. Don't miss adding a solid duplex to your rental portfolio. Reach out to learn more today. So everything sounds good, but I have a... I have, a serious, I have a serious issue with this description. <laughs> All right. The property is located within walking distance of shopping, restaurants, public transit, schools, and more. So it sounds all hunky-dory, right? It sounds all great. And this is where my issue with this property lies. This is my issue with you buying this property, Leo. Let's just pull up the old map there, and let's see what exactly we're in walking distance to, right? Because I have a very different opinion of uh, what we're actually in walking distance to because I'm looking at facts, right? That sounds all hunky-dory. It sounds great. Seems like it's a nice little town. Seems like the price is amazing. The price to rent ratio, it's going to be off the charts. You're going to love it. What could possibly go wrong? I don't know. Let's look at reality, though. So this is the house, okay? You know what I see here? I see... Vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant, 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 vacant lot, 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 vacant lot. All right. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. There's one. There's one. Uh, over here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. What about this block? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What about this block? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. What about this one? Twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. What about over here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 
What about here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Let's just finish it off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, right? Every one of these blocks, like almost half of the houses are torn down, okay? So when you actually pull up uh, the actual neighborhood, it doesn't sound like that description now, does it, okay? And when you get these vacant lots, right, this is not an area where they're building new houses, right? It's not like uh, they just haven't developed it yet. This is a neighborhood with 100-year-old homes. So all of these vacant lots are lots where there was a 100-year-old home. It got to the point where it was so distressed, so dilapidated, that it would cost more to, to renovate it, put it back together, than the actual ARV. So for you, Leo, uh, I wouldn't look any further into this deal. I think you got to... You know, get out of this deal. Don't do this deal. This is not the deal for you, bro. You're a brand new out-of-state real estate investor. When you invest in real estate, folks, there is risk. When you invest in real estate outside of where you live, there is more risk. When you invest in the most distressed neighborhoods in America, there's even more risk. The, the amount of risk involved for a brand new investor to enter a highly distressed and volatile area like this where almost half of the homes got to the point where they were worth less than zero, right? Why are they torn down? Again, the cost to fix them would be more than the ARV. So what do people do? Instead of trying to fix them, instead of continuing to pay taxes, they just let them go to tax foreclosure. The, t the city forecloses on them. They then own them for free, right? They go in, they bulldoze them, and you could buy the land for a dollar from the land bank, okay? So with you going into a new market, this would just be so risky for you, right? Like I can't even give you an estimate of what I think the property will perform like because in a neighborhood like this, you're dealing with so much unknowns and you're having such a hard time finding people to actually manage your property on the ground. Uh, I believe there's just so many deals in the Cleveland market that is going to come with such a lower level of risk, uh, be more of a stabilized investment that it would be foolish to continue to look at this for a monetary investment. Now, does that mean that like nobody can make money investing in these neighborhoods? No, it doesn't mean that at all. But who I think makes the most sense for a neighborhood like this is A, going to be a landlord with experience, B, going to be a landlord who's local, and C, going to be a landlord who has sweat equity built into their business model. You being a completely brand new out-of-state investor, you're paying full freight for everything. You're paying full freight to hire a company to do everything for you. But you take like a local seasoned landlord who's got like 50 units, got an economy of scale, maybe runs a construction or a painting business, right? They have employees that they need to keep busy. Those are the kind of people that can squeeze out margins here. But even if they try to do it, I don't think 60 is the right price for that property. I think it's going to be a little bit less, right? So in my opinion, Leo, uh, we should move on. As a matter of fact, I'm going to film a couple more videos for you today that I feel are going to be in a very low price point like this. Like if you're trying to get in in a low price point, that's fine. Uh, but we're going to have to find you something a little less risky. So I will look into those for you later today and send them all to you at the same time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.